What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> day is it? The date? 12, May, Thursday. What year? No, what year is it? Valentine is a 2001 slasher film and is a PG-13 film because most of the kills are cut and I had a thought throughout this whole film. PG-13, early 2000s film. It's just, if it's gonna be a slasher, at least make the kills good and bloody and it's not. They're fine. It's not at all good in any way. Kind of rough. To he loves me not. And someone you know, he loves me. Won't try to kill you. Remember the kid everybody ignored on Valentine's Day? Get through it's okay none of the characters are at all likable at all there's a nerdy looking kid who just wants to go out you know certain girls or whatnot he kisses one of the fat girls fat girl be even portrays him and the whole all the kids like take off his clothes or whatnot he has like a bloody nose and they bullet the shit out of him in this like little prom dance thing or whatever and so you know that kid or supposedly that kid comes back years later to kill and get vengeance a revenge on the kids that bullied him on that night which could have been interesting but because our characters are so just not likable and lame like denise richards she's not likable at all like and all the other actors like you know obviously this is a script issue but like they're just not likable at least make the characters likable so that we get through the film with no kills throughout but again script issues and it felt kind of rushed leaps of logic like in the beginning scene where a girl she's working for the morgue and whatnot and some of the killer got a dead body out of its bag put the dead body in a closet zip himself up in the body bag so that he could almost get killed and sliced up like stuff like that was like i don't think he would do that but all right it is what it is so once the first girl dies they go to a funeral mourn and whatnot they're all friends and laughing and whatnot again it's kind of boring this, this might be the shortest like years later video because oh god i even say that 20 years later this film it still sucks it's okay god i, I didn't even mention that jesus christ this is like a years later video i, I even forgot to mention this is 20 years later but yeah this is 20 years later because i believe I forgot what video i was talking about throughout the film there's horror cliches they die one by one the cop lady from scream 4 she dies in here as well when she's taking a shower and then she gets killed on her toilet or not toilet but in her bathroom i think i don't even know this might be the worst video I'm just rambling on some BS. Either way, there are shots of the killer every time he kills the nosebleed. So it's implied that it is the boy. I think Jeffrey is his name. I forgot the little boy's name. They're implying that he is the killer, which he may or may not be alive. But that this is a whole plot of him getting like facial and like, plastic surgery and whatnot through this computer. Again, like early 2000s technology and like how plastic surgery works. Stuff like that where it's like, all right, this is getting kind of stupid. But either way, I think two notable cool like action set pieces. The one at the beginning in the. more and then the mouth lip like tv thing that was a really cool like set piece and all i remember is that girl's boyfriend's one of the threesome that's all i remember but either way that's actually a cool set piece him having like an arrow that like, shoots her with the arrow and then i guess the final set piece is in this party in this large house i don't i guess it is a final set piece but it's just kind of like all right final set piece big house thing right one by one they all die and whatnot uh, the guy from buffy the angel guy he's in here i think two, this is 2001 he i think he was in the height of his career i don't know why he decided to make this film he probably got a big paycheck but he's in here as well i'm forgetting this actor's name but he's angel on buffy i'm forgetting his goddamn name but yeah he shows every now and then there's a lot of red herring and who's the killer and whatnot maybe it could be one of the boyfriends maybe it's a little bit that they bully back go dance who knows and so throw this final like scene and whatnot she thinks that you know in the angel guy is him he like knocks her out and then it turns out it's not another person with the mask on which looks fine the mask of i don't know what face i don't know what it looks like but you know it's an okay mask basically so he goes after our main girl basically the blonde chick that was nice to little boy and then kills the killer takes off the mask it turns out to be the fat girl i think from from i think is it the fat girl the, gr the fat girl that grew up to be pretty good looking I think that's the killer or imply that the killer which doesn't make any goddamn sense I was like, okay this is like a red herring and the angel guy and our main final girl hug he has a nosebleed implying that he is indeed the little boy that got bullied back in the school desk and is killing and getting revenge on everyone that has done him dirty and got the girl that he's always wanted since he was a little boy so yeah and you know he got facial like plastic surgery I guess so so the movie ends of the killer winning which you don't get to see a whole lot I guess I like that the killer wins in the end or it's implied that the killer wins so clearly as you could tell from 
from this video with my voice. I'm not a big fan of this film. I don't think it's at all good. It's just more early 2000s PG-13 slasher films that didn't need to be made, but were still made. And yeah, that's that's about it. I ain't got much to say about it. It's a okay. It's fine. It's got two cool set pieces and I guess a different end to it. like a typical slasher with a slasher villain winning. So yeah, Valentine, 20 years later, is still just okay. That's it for Valentine. Kind of hard to get through. Next video will be another year later called when a stranger calls and it's the remake of the original in 2006 so yeah this has been the road so far and thank you for watching